Alright and welcome to Curse Salvage. I am Stotty and today we have a 2007 320D M Sport Auto. Yeah. Now, as you can see straight away, we have some marks on the bumper. And the bumper doesn't want to be here anymore. It's trying to leave itself. Quite a lot of rust on the bonnet. It has a casual 182,000 miles on. Got the door seal trying to escape. Apart from that though, the bodywork isn't too bad given the age of the car. Um, the back, it has got a... Can't remember what brand of tow bar it is. Uh, yeah, still can't really see. But I know it cost the owners 300 quid to put on and they used it four times. But the rest of the car, exteriorly, is that a word? Exteriorly? I'll go with it. Eh, it's, it's okay. However, this has clearly got some dog love inside. That sounds really bad. Which, I don't know if you can get a better picture of it there or not. Interior is absolutely minging. That's canny bad. The boot. <coughs> Tape two. The boot. It's okay. This, like, seriously, this is decomposing. That's how long it's been since any of this was cleaned. That's uh, <coughs> questionable. So, yeah, people, this was a daily driver. It wasn't like a random barn find or anything. But just look at how minging all of this is. I will have to go on the other side of the road because uh, I'm about to get run over. I've got a counter worker watching us thinking, what the hell is he doing? But you know, do it for the love of the tubes. Like, for me, just how on earth do you let your car get this dirty? I mean, just look at all this when you're actually sitting in the driver's seat. Ooh, <laughs> gives us a heebie-jeebies. Now, obviously, the car isn't perfect. It does have a litany of issues. Is that the right word? List of issues. The jet washers don't work. Apparently the pumps died or got issues. It turns the coolant into gel. So it blocks the pipes and hoses. For me, I'd want to replace all of them. The washer bottle pumps and the lines. Um, steering lock has one light on. Don't know if it works. Don't really want to try it in case it gets locked on. All the front suspension all the arms and everything. That was all advisors on the last MOT. So that might be a little bit more deteriorated by now. So that probably all needs replaced. Does have a slight coolant leak, which I suspect is going to be the radiator or a random line or something. Three years ago, it had new glow plugs, vac hoses and all that stuff done to the engine. I drove it back from Swindon and it actually drives nice enough there's no knocks or bangs or rattles or shakes but on the last mot the advisory was down saying it had the engine was loud so let's listen to that jesus <laughs> anybody need a free leaf i'm actually having to raise my voice here mechanical people is that normal for one of these I will check the oil when I go to clean this. I'm going to give it a quick hoover out. Because to me that's a bit of a fire risk. But there's no leaking. Obviously apart from possibly the radiator. Because like I say the cooling fans down. Is this normal? Random wiring? 
does leave us with the question of is this just going straight in the bin people? Oh, there's actually a mat here. Didn't know. Oh man, God man. This is worse than when I bought my own car, the slug. I mean, the really sad thing is, once upon a time, this was somebody pride to join. <laughs> so while cleaning this, and reference the loud noise, I might have part of the issue. Is this not meant to be connected, like? So the air intake literally isn't connected. Which makes me think, has the engine mount gone, and the engine's tilted back over? But I'm going to do a DIY of just wrapping some duct tape around that and seeing if it makes it sound a whole lot better. Even though I think I'm leaning towards spares and repairs for this car, I cannot sell it like that with all of that down there. So, Henry, time to feast, boy. Not sure if I put this in the video about the C3 or not, but one thing that was so annoying with that is when you went to indicate, you hit the cruise control lever lever if you're in America. Like seriously, who thought that was a good idea to stick that there when the indicator stops there? Bloody stupid. I know what some of you will be thinking. He's mad. He hasn't got leather gloves. Uh, leather gloves on. Be a bit excessive. Uh, latex gloves on. And you're right. I probably should have them on. But I forgot to get them. And the car is about two centimetres off the floor. And I can't be asked to get out to go and get them. But one thing I want to know. If anybody's got one of these. Had one of these. Is it just me? Or is the steering stupidly heavy? I mean, obviously, I have been driving that C3 a little bit, normally driving me slug. But the steering in this, it's like a workout. Wow. Wow, look, there's car underneath that there, dirt people. Somewhere. Even if I was buying this as a potential MOT failure car, with a few minor things that need doing, because I do think it is now only the... Uh, jet wash things for the windscreen I mean look at that the jet wash things for the windscreen and the steering lock which technically would be the MOT and possibly whatever light bulb that is that keeps flashing up but I just don't think the profits there in it I think I'd be better off spares and repairing it but I would not want to buy it if it was this minging and if I want to get that extra 30 quid for it I might as well take half an hour to wipe all this down. Yum. Had up. There's a cup holder here. And there's two in the dash there. How many cuppers are Blum BMW drivers drinking? And what on earth is this switch for? That says one and zero. Anybody know? Put it in the comments. Let me know because I have not a Scooby. Right, I think we've waited long enough. Let's clean the mirror. <laughs> now nah, it's like, let's clean this. I hope the camera picks us up, because, uh, oh my word. <laughs> the amount of crap that's coming off. Onto this antibacterial wipe. It's like when I do pollen filters. Look at the difference. 
in full honesty I've probably spent about 20 minutes wiping the inside of this hoovering it oh I need to hoover again just down here because crap's got there but uh, yeah that took a lot of effort didn't it people don't let your car get so dirty now I showed you that this air box isn't even attached and I was going to wax some duct tape around it however duct tape would leave a mark and I just want to know if that would fix the loud engine so my solution cling film cling film around there this is heat resistant to some kind of degree obviously I'm not going to run it I'm just going to put it on and see if it sounds better in the name of science so this is a sound before and all you die hard BMW fanboys don't get too annoyed <laughs> but uh there's nothing connected here, man. Look at that. Reese, let's uh, turn this on. Is that any quieter? I don't think so. Obviously, these aren't airtight. I don't know, old noise, new noise, I don't think it's made a little, but actually one way to find out, yeah there was no noise difference whatsoever. But, science folks, science. Welcome back to the slug. The beamer's gone. Decided to sell the spares and repairs. I think I've been stung too much by the Volvo and the C3. Not that the C3 stung us, but... If you haven't seen the videos, go back and watch them. This was a bit of a different video. Obviously, I've done nothing mechanical to the car itself. I simply cleaned it made it look used not abused i really just want to put this video out to show that you can still make money um just purely from getting a car and cleaning it i have been very lucky it was a kind of part x i didn't really want it's worked out okay on screen there is my day of going down to swindon to get it nice lovely 10 hour drive a couple with an hour to clean it works out just shy of 23 quid an hour which is pretty good going to be fair I had to get rid of the car. Ideally, I want to save it. It is the name of the channel, Salvage. But I just think I would have had to put in four or five hundred quid and maybe make three hundred quid profit. Where I bought, I put two hundred quid into getting the car, as in buying it, temporary insurance, all that, to then make four fifty, which I don't think is too bad. Two hundred fifty quid profit for, like I say, it was three days in total of having the car sold straight away person who bought it very dodgy 100 percent that car is going to get a dodgy mot it's going to get ragged around or untaxed or kill some nana I'm not going to lie it will watch out on the news for it because it was a very questionable little wannabe gangster that bought it wearing his fake gucci stuff absolutely anyway rant rant side rant this is a different video like i've said if anybody is new to the channel, I do normally do more stuff to cars. Have a look back at the core part purchases of the Antara and the Volvo. This wasn't a core part purchase. However, my word, the Mondeo that's coming, you need to watch that video. You will not be disappointed. So if you want to see that, if you want to support the channel, like, subscribe, please comment below. Let us know what you would have done. Would you have saved it, scrapped it, salvaged it? Let us know. But until next time, this is me, Foxtrot, Oscarin.